Hey guys, it's Oliver here from Spitfire Audio. Today I have the pleasure to play with CDT and BDT for you guys. Um, I want to show you how these two libraries can interact and uh, I want to take you on a ride and just improvise a bit and uh, show you how really hands-on and incredible those two libraries are. Uh, improvise a bit, I'm saying, because uh, kind of the tagline of those libraries is less theory, more feeling. And it's designed to really quickly um, whip up a cue or a track and kind of let your ideas and creativity flow freely. And uh, more and more, I... I experience that directors and producers just want the stuff yesterday rather than today. So you, you really want to be able to, to create something incredible. And those two libraries we've created with the fantastic Sam Sim TV and film composer. And those sounds are, yeah, again, designed for you to play with both hands at the same time. No module needed, no programming needed. It's all kind of uh, done for you uh, under the hood and as you can see here it's uh, mainly divided between texture soft and loud so it's velocity uh, sensitive and you have different constellations so the British drama toolkit uh, features strings and woodwinds so your your more traditional orchestral kind of setup and the CDT the contemporary drama toolkit features synths guitar vocals and that put through Eurorax pedals, etc. So it gives you a bit more of a modern sound. So let me just give you a little taster here of the British Drama Toolkit, how this could sound. So if I play really softly, I address the texture, and the louder I play, the more melodic the elements get. And as you can hear, there's subtle kind of evolutions going on within each instrument. And I think that keeps it uh, very fresh and, and interesting. So it doesn't feel like a, a loop. And again, you have different alterations. So we can say, for example, here, alternative evolutions. It's so, so beautiful and again, like an instant cue. I'm just going to hit record here and uh, take you on a little ride. I have my absolute favorite patch here, which is Paradise Pluck. And I'm just going to, you know, see what, what we come up with.
yeah, I mean that's that's cool. That's cool. Uh, it sounds, it just sounds absolutely absolutely incredible. And I can hear. Uh, I love when um, Homai's voice is coming in there, shining through. I mean, this patch Paradise Plax is is really bloody amazing. Um, let's see what we can add. A little bit. I think a bit of cello would be nice, perhaps coming in somewhere in the middle. <laughs> Obviously here I help a little bit with the mod wheel with the fade out. Uh, I'm gonna gonna shape it a little bit better afterwards. But I'm just gonna keep in the flow and uh, execute my ideas here that I had. I think. Bit of double bass here. Okay, cool. Keep it simple. I think I'm gonna add here on the flute. Felt it more there. build it back up there I think and, and bring some more uh, I've got a really cool sound that uh, I want to show you okay, more orchestral in this in this bit I mean I'm saying orchestral but I mean BDT uh, which is more this this kind of sound uh, strings and woodwinds <laughs> Okay, cool. Well, let's see whether I have to leave this in or not, but I'm quite happy with that. Let me just play this a little bit. Not sure whether you know this trick. I mean, I'm saying trick, but so you can have MIDI chase. So if you have long notes, uh, especially, it's always the other one, isn't it? Uh, if you have long notes, then you can 
turn on MIDI chase and it will play even if you if you don't press play of the of the playheads in the beginning of the MIDI information. So This texture is so beautiful. I can like with the voice down here. It's I don't almost want to add stuff, but maybe this wind tunnel. I remember this being quite beautiful. Listen. Maybe somewhere just subtly behind everything here. bit too thick. Maybe I find something. Ah, oh, that's cool. Ah, oh, this one. Ah, oh, you wait for this one. This... Oh God, there's too many good sounds in here. Because this one is it's doing... This is so good. Um, let me see. I mean, maybe a bit of warm bass. This one has the warmest bass, in my opinion. Textural one, my band. So rich and creamy. Yeah, maybe here in the transition and then it starts pulsing. <laughs> That's the one. It's so cool. Okay, we have a bit of vocal there. I think I'm just going to... Okay, I think we're gonna leave this uh, for the next for the next section. I'm gonna have a bit of a counter line here. Kind of nice this idea uh, not quite settled yet long long accented yeah let's try that
Uh, uh, I guess the thing is sometimes you 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 spend too much time on on little melodies like that. But uh, I'm gonna leave this for now because I don't want to bore you and I don't want to bore myself. Uh, these cello harmonics are really nice, but. Maybe that's a bit of an outro or something. They're too close to this flute sound and I don't want to crowd it too much. Maybe a bit more as an intro there. Okay, there it sounds a bit more like an ending, so I need to know. It's nice here, but ah, where do I go? Typical little chord progression, but always nice. Mm -hmm. 
It just sounds too good here. Yeah, why not? Why not? I think that could work. Add some BDT elements, I believe, to take this bass out. To bring the sound closer, just a little bit, and then I think we're, we're kind of good. I, I like this. Okay, slightly out of time here. Neaten this up afterwards. Beautiful, but just a touch overpowering. <laughs> oh, it does need something a bit more organic here. many instruments I think the cello could could work quite well or perhaps a violin actually let me just load up a violin yeah that's nice that's really nice this so I quite like that that's that's great uh, probably gonna add a little bit more reverb here let's have a listen I think it's always always important to see how the composition is sounding this one comes in a little bit abrupt although I like maybe give a bit more That's another great texture, just bringing the synths in there. Uh, maybe just more vocal. Oh, 
Oh, so nice. Anyway, I think I'm I'm gonna get lost here, <laughs> trying out too many sounds. But let's see how it is. Yeah, I think the cello could come in right here in the end. Do this a little better. think something like that. I'm quite happy with this um, mini composition here. I'm just going to give it a quick mix and master and uh, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope this gives you inspiration. I mean, the amount of inspiration is almost overwhelming on, on, on this one. Uh, whatever you touch and play, it kind of just falls out of your fingers. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's, it's, a, it's a joy playing with these two libraries. Uh, check out all the links in the description for further information and check out my master track if you would like so. Take care and see you in the next one. Bye bye. Thank you.